It is a grassroots movement that began on Wall Street and is spreading to other major markets. Now, organizers are planning an Occupy Vancouver event this weekend to press for political and economic change. But to what end? Do demonstrations like this really affect change? Matt Berkowitz is the spokesperson behind Occupy Vancouver, and he joins us now from our CTV Vancouver studios. Good afternoon, Mr. Berkowitz. Thank you for coming on. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for having me on. Hi. I appreciate it. Not at all. Can you tell us what inspired you to put together an Occupy Vancouver event similar to the Occupy Wall Street movement? Well, the Vancouver event's just one of uh, over a thousand uh, events all over the world now that was inspired, of course, from the original uh, event in Wall Street. And, of course, the problems that uh, plague our society today are not exempt in Vancouver. So that's where the uh, inspiration was uh, to organize an event right here in Vancouver. Okay, so what are you looking to change exactly? Basically, the, the whole point of this is to raise awareness about the fundamental problems that plague our society, from uh, the social, economic, and political spheres, uh, to the, you know, the, all the problems in society, the war, corruption, poverty, environmental destruction, and basically to open it up, uh, to a, uh, open up a platform uh, for people to discuss uh, the root causes of these problems and pose possible alternatives. Well, the criticism of the Wall Street movement, and it's been going on for a while now, is that it, it really offers no real solutions. Mm -hmm. How do you respond well, to it's that? A fair it's a fair criticism at this point. At, at this point, it's basically about spreading awareness about all of these problems. There's uh, many organizations who are going to be in attendance who are posing possible alternatives. For example, I work with another organization called the Zeitgeist Movement, and we're looking at a possible new socioeconomic model uh, to propose uh, to the general public. So while the Occupy Movement explicitly doesn't have you know, one defined uh, solution, there are many, it's basically meant as a platform for other organizations to discuss their their possibilities. All right, and we'll talk about the groups that are supporting you this weekend, uh, but I wanted to touch on the fact that the issues in the U.S., the economic issues for the most part, are different from Canada's in that we appear to be on a little more solid economic footing at this point. So do you think people are as incensed as they are south of the border at this time? Perhaps not, but uh, like I said, the, the, our broadest social problems, uh, war, poverty, income inequality, environmental decline, these aren't exempt in, in Canada. And actually right now, uh, income inequality is getting even greater at a faster rate in, in Canada than it, than it is in the United States. The erosion of the middle class appears to be the greatest concern, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's one of them. I wouldn't single it out as, as the greatest, maybe, but it's certainly a major one. Okay. What kind of support are you expecting to see this weekend? You do have some big labor organizations behind you. Tell us about that. Well, it originated from like Facebook, uh, from a Facebook event, and there are thousands of people on that. We had an event uh, last Saturday at W2, which uh, you know there were about three or four hundred people in attendance to that. So I think it's safe to predict that there will be thousands for this, and who knows how long it'll last. It's really just. Uh, October 15th that it's going to start and uh, continue on indefinitely from there. All right. Well, Vancouver, as you well know, is still living in the shadow of the Stanley Cup riots. Uh, are you concerned about crowd control issues and, and what is being done to ensure that things stay calm there on Saturday? I'd make a couple of distinctions. The, the Stanley Cup riots didn't really have a, a social purpose other than it seems uh, destruction. This has a, a purpose of raising social awareness about the fundamental problems in society and hopefully it can be channeled into that. It, it is a non-violent movement. If a couple people get out of hand, then it makes uh, you know, the whole point of the event uh, look like, it, like that was the whole point of the, the whole event rather than just a few perpetrators. Matt Berkowitz, thank you for your time. Occupy Vancouver taking place October 15th. Thank you.